ओके हेलो गाइज वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल सो बेसिकली व्हाट आई हैव डिसाइडेड इज I will uh, make uh, two to three videos on this uh, like one one concept. Uh, so the basically the type of questions you will get from that uh, particular part. Uh, so this here is the first uh, video. Like the this is from classical mechanics, uh, small oscillation. So uh, basically, I will make two to three videos uh, on. the expected questions or the important questions you will get from the small oscillation part okay uh, so what i observed that uh, there are basically two types uh, questions you are you will get from the small oscillation part the most important one is type 1 which i will discuss today and type 2 regarding type 2 i will discuss it in one more lecture okay so uh, basically the type one is uh, the type like uh, uh, it is like the potential is given so uh, some b of x or or b of r will be given and you have to find out uh, the angular frequency or it uh, or the frequency only and or the time period of the oscillation and it is saying that at this stable point or at equilibrium so something like that okay Uh, in some questions you will get like to find out the angular frequency at this stable point at angular frequency at equilibrium so just uh, with a little bit little bit of variations so uh, e this type of question is, is there in 2011 also 2012 2014 2018 and uh, maybe in some uh, year also so today we will uh, discuss uh, particularly regarding this type and if you will keep this in your mind the like solving this solving this type this particular type of problem is uh, like easy just you have to keep in mind the, um, keep in uh, the the things in your mind so basically uh, as we said potential is given so if you have the potential just you have to find out uh, first you have to find out the uh, first derivative of that potential which is do b by do x that equal to 0 okay and uh, from that you have to find out the x value okay which is basically uh, we denote as x not so at this x not point you have to find out the do square v by do x square which is at x is equal to x not and if that do square v by do x square is greater than 0 this is our stable point and around this stable point we always find our angular frequency and all okay and for unstable point that is do square v by do x square less than 0 this is the unstable point okay in some question also there uh, you will see it is only asking about finding the stable point what are the stable point what are the unstable point okay and after that Uh, we know that this is do square b by do x square that is equal to m omega square uh, or this is equal to our like spring constant k the spring constant if uh, we have a spring in that spring we will have the uh, like a small oscillation so uh, this is a mass and that is connected to a spring so the spring constant here is nothing but our k which is equal to m omega square okay or you can relate it to f is equal to minus kx okay and this k is nothing but the spring constant and we, where f is the force and we know the relation between the force and the potential okay so from that also you can find out this one okay so uh, so now uh, i hope you guys got the idea just you have the potential you have to read the question what is uh, there in the question as we will uh, see one example which is there in 2018 june most probably so it is saying that a particle of mass m kept in a potential bx so there must be always a potential b of x that undergoes a small oscillation about an equilibrium point see about an equilibrium point and it is asking the frequency of oscillation okay so in this uh, one um uh, question only i will uh, i will discuss about how to find the frequency how to find the angular frequency and how to find the time period okay so now uh, just uh, as as uh, i have given how to uh, 
uh, find the method to solve this uh, particular question particular type of question is see we have the v of x we have v of x so v, v of x is given that is minus half k x square and plus 1 by 4 lambda x to the power 4 okay guys then uh, we have to find out dou v by dou x and we have to uh, to find the critical point we have to find out or the find out to or to find out the equilibrium point we have to uh, equate dou v by dou x equal to 0 remember this so equating dou v by dou x equal to 0 which gives us let me do this here okay i am doing this here okay so we have v is equal to half minus half k x square plus 1 by 4 lambda x to the power 4 see this same question was there in previously also like in this particular question at one at one uh, csr net uh, term it was asking about the uh, time period of oscillation and uh, at another it was asking about the phase diagram okay so just uh, you have to keep this in mind okay so dou v by dou x is equal to like this will be kx plus lambda x to the power 3 yes and we have to equate equal to 0 so from this if i will take x common i will get minus k plus lambda x to the power 2 equal to 0 okay and from here we will get a value x is equal to 0 and x is equal to minus k plus lambda x square is equal to 0 so that will be uh, x uh, equal to k by lambda x square is equal to k by lambda and that equal to x is equal to k by lambda root of now you have you have two values x is equal to 0 and x is equal to k by lambda ja, now you have to just check for this stable point so for stable point we know that do square b by we have to check do square b by do x square so uh, do square b by do x square will get minus k plus 3 lambda x square okay and if we will check our x naught value is uh, we will first check for x equal to 0 for at x is equal to 0 we will get here minus k and which is less than 0 so this is my unstable point so we uh, we have to uh, we don't have to check for this one we have to take do square the second we have to check the second one okay so do square b by do x square at this is at x is equal to 0 and we will find that x is equal to under root k by lambda for this as you can see we will get minus k plus 3 lambda k by lambda so here if lambda lambda gets cancelled out we got 2k okay and this is greater than 0 so this is the stable point so for this case we have to see the and we have to we know this is nothing but equal to the spring constant this is equal to the spring constant right so we have to equate this to spring constant which is nothing but my m omega square the spring constant k is equal to m omega square okay this is small k okay we are taking the uh, like capital k for the spring constant okay so basically dou square b by dou x square is equal to m omega square and that is nothing but equal to 2k so we got omega square is equal to 2k by m so from there we can find omega is equal to under root just a second just a second under root 2k by m this is the value of omega now as you know if we have the angular frequency we can find out the frequency because the relation between omega, omega and of f is nothing but omega by 2 pi is equal to f and from here also if i got a, from this also i will get the 
ओ मैं अंगुलर फ्रीक्वेंस फ्रॉम दिस अंगुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी आई कैन फाइंड आउट द फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड आल्सो आई कैन फाइंड आउट द टाइम पीरियड ऑफ ओसिलेशन आई कैन आल्सो फाइंड आउट द टाइम पीरियड ओके सो फॉर द टाइम पीरियड ऑफ ओसिलेशन वी नो दैट फ्रीक्वेंसी देयर इज अ रिलेशन बिटवीन फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड टाइम पीरियड from that we can also find out the time period so this question uh, like this type of question this is a simple question but you will get uh, like maximum time you will get this question okay you if you will observe you will see the previous year questions you you like there uh, is uh, like the probability of getting this type of question is high from this small oscillation part okay and uh, we will discuss one more type of there is one more type uh, to find out the normal mode you know to find out the normal mode ne in the next video uh, in the next video uh, stay tuned guys in the next video we will uh, discuss about the normal mode like that one that is also a, like you will get a question in net or get uh, definitely will like encounter a question from this that is from you have to give uh, the lagrangian is given and from that lagrangian you have to find out the uh, normal modes normal modes and uh, the uh, frequencies of oscillation so this is the question we will discuss in the next video and for that you have to stay tuned and uh, please uh, look for at to the next video okay thank you guys i hope you guys understood this uh, i am saying one more time uh, this is the type 1 uh, question you will get from this small oscillation that is the potential is given and you have to find out uh, the question the question must be to find out the angular frequency the frequency or the time period of of oscillation if you will see there is a question 2011 Uh, like b of x is equal to a x square plus b by x square. Just I am giving here from this step, you will see in the two thousand eleven. In two thousand eleven, there is a question like b of x is equal to a x square plus b by x square, and it is the same question to find out the angular frequency of small oscillation. Then in also two thousand twelve, there is a question b of x is equal to one by four x square minus two to the power square. so you have these are the homework if you you can solve these questions okay similarly in 2014 also there is a question in december 2000 that is minus half a x square plus 1 by 4 b x to the power 4 the same question was there in 2018 which we just solved that is there in in top in the b there is lambda only lambda x to the power 4 and all see so this type of question you will get so uh, we will discuss uh, you guys just solve these questions okay it will like it will be a practice set for you and uh, i hope you guys you guys will get this one okay and you uh, in the next video we'll see another one more uh, uh, type of uh, question which you will get in the uh, get from the small oscillation part from the classical mechanics okay then uh thank you guys take care stay safe and uh, we'll see one in the next we'll see each other in the next video okay thank you guys